it can be really tough to stay motivated in the off season. You've had a long training year, there's travel, there's family, there's holidays, there's pumpkin pie everywhere. You may not feel like you have time to train, you may feel like you need to take time off, and it's really hard to focus on your goal. So I've got something that you can do in less than two minutes that will help you stay motivated in the off season. Hey, it's Coach Eric. Welcome back. If you are new here, this channel is all about the mistakes that I've made in triathlon and passing them on to you so that you don't have to say, make the same mistakes that I did. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another free weekly video. Today we are talking about staying motivated in the off season really quickly when you can't physically train. Most of you, you don't have a problem with physical training. It's the mental aspects we got to make sure we keep sharp and really we can counteract the lack of physical training with some good mental training. Here's how. Visualize your future finish by just taking a minute or two, relaxing and imagining your goal race, imagining yourself coming across that finish line. Your brain cannot tell the difference between when you're actually doing something and when you visualize yourself doing something. Visualizing your goals and actually changing your mindset affects neurochemistry in the brain and actually creates neural pathways where your brain actually believes that you've done what you've imagined yourself to do, so it's much more likely to occur again. This visualization actually works if you're going for a faster time at a distance you've already done, or if it's the first time you're doing something, it can really help. First off-road try, first Ironman try, first try ever, visualization will help. What you do is you actually just find a quiet place, you can close your eyes, leave your eyes open, and just start uh, visualizing what you wanna do. Go to that finish line. What's the clock say? What are you wearing? Uh, what, are you, what are you feeling is really the key aspect of as you tie that uh, emotional uh, feeling to the, to the visualization or to the memory. Uh, an example of that is most things we remember in life, um, you know, our, our weddings and funerals, for example, a really, really happy occasion and, you know, a, a, a really sad occasion. So when you have a really strong emotion tied to either one, you're much more likely to remember something. So with visualizing your race, feel that excitement, feel that satisfaction of all that hard work, months, years, maybe you've put into it, sacrifices you made to make it all worth it. So you're visualizing that um, along with the feeling. Like I said, this just takes a minute or two. And once you've got that visualization with that feeling, rehearse it, memorize it, do it once a week, do it once a day, uh, do it multiple times a day. Uh, it's no matter what, it's going to help you uh, especially when you can't physically train as much, or maybe you shouldn't be physically training as much, again, train that mental uh, muscle. And later on, when you do have tough times where um, you're struggling with training or you're just not feeling motivated, this will help keep that motivation and keep you uh, headed towards your goal. You're probably thinking you don't have time to carve out more time, even just a minute or two, to do something like this. Even though you should, and you can find time, I hear you, it's a real thing, family, work, you name it, regular physical training. So if you feel that way, still do it, but do it while you're washing dishes or do it when you're stuck in traffic. Um, obviously don't close your eyes, um, but uh, do it while you're in the shower, for example. So take those, those little mini moments and really visualize your goal and it really will enhance and increase your motivation. Don't knock it till you try it. Now, if you find you do have some extra time, some triathletes have said that they actually like taking three minutes one minute and imagining the swim, one minute and imagining the bike, and one minute and imagining uh, the run and then to the finish line. So even sort of several uh, mini accomplishments, mini goals um, as you break up the different um, legs of the triathlon. But really the most important part is that finish line. Gosh, just take 15 seconds right now, hit pause, visualize your future finish, feel that excitement and that accomplishment. You're gonna feel it 20 times more before the race, and it's gonna feel that much better and that much more likely to happen when you do your goal race. All right, so I hope that was helpful for you. Try it out, let me know how that helped you stay motivated in the off season. And until next week, I'll see you on the trails.